When you first initialize Google SketchUp, you're going to get this welcome screen. The top part under the Learn section is all about video tutorials and tips and tricks. And when you're first using the program, I definitely recommend that you take a look at that and even print out the quick reference card, which is pretty useful. Below that is what we're more interested in, and this is your template section. So this is where you get to pick, for example, if you're working in feet and inches or meters or millimeters, um, you know, and all sorts of different types of things. So it's really divided up from a simple template, architectural design, um, if you're going to be doing things for Google Earth, engineering, woodworking, all of those types of things. So we're just going to go with the first one, the simple template in feet and inches, um, but just know that those are all available to you. Essentially the software works the same, it's just different units and a slightly different uh, look to the user interface. But we're just going to say that the simple template feet and inches is good and we're going to start using SketchUp. Once SketchUp opens, you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. So in the middle here, we have our drawing area, and we're actually looking at it in a three-dimensional view. So we see the X, Y, and Z axis here in the middle. And then we actually have what's referred to as a component in SketchUp. I think her name is Susan. Uh, she's really just here giving you a sense of scale. Uh, showing you where the zero 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 mark is. She can be deleted. It's not a big deal if she's there or not, but um, she's always going to show up. Up at the top of the screen we have our various menus. Um, so they're pretty standard when it comes to this type of thing. And of course if you click on file you're going to get into things like creating a new SketchUp drawing, opening an existing one, oops, going down to saving um, getting objects from the 3D warehouse, importing or exporting drawing files, printing, and it will show you the most recent files that you've used, as well as give you a way to exit the program. Under Edit, that's where you can do things like undoing and redoing um, the most recent changes you've made to the drawing, cutting, copying, and pasting, deleting guidelines, uh, which is something that we'll talk about, selecting objects, hiding and unhiding, locking and unlocking, uh, dealing with components and groups, and our faces. In view, we can change how our user interface looks in terms of the toolbars. We can show or hide section planes and cuts, as well as getting into things like shadow and fog, once you actually have a more developed model, and how your edges and faces uh, show up, as well as some component edits and a little bit with animation. The camera uh, menu is dealing with how we're looking at our views. So if we're looking at standard views, for example, top, bottom, left, right, and so on, and if we're looking in you know, a more perspective type of view, whether regular, quote unquote, or two-point perspective, or if it be a parallel projection, like a standard view, we can get into our orbiting and zooming functions and then a little bit with how we position cameras, look around, and so on. The draw tab has some of our tools like lines and arcs and you know all of our drawing types of um, commands. Tools gets into uh, manipulating our drawings and moving things around, erasing, giving ourselves guides, that type of thing. Window is where we're going to access some of our um, more comprehensive menus that can come up, for example, dealing with materials or layers, um, managing how fog works or shadows, that type of thing. And then help, of course, would be to go get help. Below that whole series of menus there, we have a bunch of buttons. This is our Getting Started toolbar. We have the opportunity to change that and add or remove from it. And if we want to do that, what we can do is go to the View tab. Under the View tab, the first option here is Toolbars. So you'll see that we have Getting Started selected, and we also have Large Buttons on. And we know that because of the blue check marks there. So for example, if I click here next to Large Buttons, the buttons all shrink, now they would be the small buttons. So I'll go back into View and Toolbars, and I think I'll just turn that back on. 
And then you'll see that we have a bunch of different options here. I personally like to work with the large tool set uh, as opposed to the get starting just because I think it's a little bit more comprehensive and it really gives me everything that I want available. So this is the large tool set here on the left hand side. But you'll see that we can add or remove other ones. So for example, if I wanted to pick the drawing toolbar, I'll click on drawing and there it is. You'll see it's actually a repeat of something I have in the large tool set so I really wouldn't need to have it there twice. If you have a toolbar open that you'd like to get rid of, you can go back up to the view tab and click on it or you can grab it and pull it out and once you have it here you could certainly leave it floating if that's helpful to you. We can even you know, change its configuration a little bit but then we can just hit that little red X and close it out. So you certainly don't have to keep them open once you've done that. So it's just under view and toolbars and you can add or remove whichever toolbars that you want. Down at the bottom of the screen we'll see uh, our status bar. This is going to tell us what's going on, what SketchUp is looking for us, what it might want us to do. To the left over here there will be information about the drawing and things like that. So if I click on one of these little buttons, it will open up the model info. It will tell me about animation, different components, dimensions, and that type of thing. Since this is a brand new file, there's really nothing much to mention in here. But I could, exam for example, look at uh, the units. And the units it's telling me is in architectural, which makes sense based on the template that I opened. It tells me the precision that my uh, my drawing will be able to go to and so on. So these are all things that you can change uh, if you want to. So I'm just going to close that. And then down in the lower right hand corner, uh, you're going to want to take a look at this little box that says measurements. This is our value control box. Right now it just says measurements. It's a very generic term. Uh, but once we get to doing things, this will change and ask for the length of a line, for example, or the number of sides of a polygon, and so on. So that will change, and that's we're going to go in and give SketchUp specific information. It's very much like the command line in AutoCAD, but much simpler. So at this point, we're ready to get started. So feel free to alter the configuration to something that suits your needs. I recommend having it set up in a very simple way, just like this, and we'll be ready to get started.